heard you. I heard you asking somebody if it was okay for us to be filming in here. Did you get an answer? I didn't get an answer yet. The problem is, is it's a secure location of the police department. Guys, I'm against the press coming to you from the village of Sag Harbor, New York. I have watching the watchman with me today, and I also have my nephew with us. So we're going to go into the Sag Harbor Police Department and uh, see if these folks respect our right to film in a publicly accessible place. How you doing? Good, how you doing today? All right. Good. Any questions or just enjoying the lobby? Yeah, can I get your name and badge number? Officer Steyert, S-T-E-Y-E-R-T, Field 115. Thank you very much, sir. So I'll ask just because I overheard you. I heard you asking somebody if it was okay for us to be filming in here. Did you get an answer? I didn't get an answer yet. The problem is, is it's a secure location of the police department. film, but I don't know how far you can film to. There's data in here that's not open to the public. 
That was only so, my question to my supervisor. He's coming right down to speak with you. Okay, so as far as you're aware, you're saying that we can film here in yeah, the lobby, here. but you're All just... sensitive stuff and materials back here as long as we're not filming this desk and information that should be out to the public, no. Okay. Where, do, where does that information, that information is just sitting out on a desk no, for anybody to see? Systems, yeah, that's what I mean. Type and reports. Shouldn't be anything too private yeah. sitting out on a desk, right? No. Good, okay. Good. And you said the supervisor's coming to yeah. speak with us? Sergeant Drake's coming down now. All right, cool. I was actually going to take off, but I'll wait for him. Sure. And I'm sorry, what's his name? Sergeant Drake. Sergeant Drake. Good. Thank you. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Can I help you? Can I get your name and badge number? Sure. Sergeant Drake, Shield 302. Sergeant Drake, Th cool. Shield 302. Very good. So I don't know, can I answer any questions for you? You tell me. Well, the officer said that you wanted to come out and speak to me, so I waited for you. We were actually going to leave, but I waited for you since he said you were coming out. Oh, no, I have nothing to say. Oh. Other than if you need help with anything. Oh, okay. That was it? Because he, he just had a question about whether or not we were allowed to film inside Absolutely. the... Absolutely. So no issues? No issues. Okay, good. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank so we you. can stay as long as we want, film whatever sure. we want, no problem? Yep. All right. Well, if that's the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what we're doing. I'm sure you already know. Mm -hmm. So you're fully aware that it's a First Amendment audit. Okay. Okay. I'm sure you've heard about us. Sure. Sure AJ's uh, spread the word. Mm-hmm. And uh, just want to let you guys know that we appreciate you. I actually noticed, since you're being so cordial, I'm going to return that to okay. you. Um, and I noticed your hours on the door, and yes. we're actually here outside of normal business hours, and you guys were nice enough to let us in and accommodate us Absolutely. and treat us with, with respect anything. and just wanted to say thank you very much, and we appreciate that. Well, thank you. Okay? I appreciate it. And you've done nothing but make your department look fantastic. Great. Well, so, I appreciate it. And I'm sure that was your goal, so. in case we showed up. So this was your day. Well, if we could do anything to help you guys out... That's it. If you can, you know what you can do to help me out? Sure. Spread the word and just let people know to act the way you act. I will do that. Okay, and I'm assuming that since you're a sergeant, I don't know if you're a training officer or not. 
Mm -hmm. um, but I'm sure that the guys under you are probably, I would hope, similar in behavior to you, and that's what that's our goal. That's okay. what we're shooting for. Right. Okay. All right. And you get, let me just ask you a question: Are your officers certified? They are. Okay. So have you received recent uh, updated training on public photography? Uh, I don't know if we we haven't received any. Okay. You know, recently. Okay. But well, we have in the past. All right. Good. Well, it looks like you guys are ahead of that curve and probably don't even need it. Okay. All right. So we appreciate again. I really appreciate it. Most uh, audits don't go this way. Okay. And uh, I don't know if it's just uh, word spreading and people. Well, expecting this and looking that. good, but if that's the everyone. if that's your genuine sentiment, yeah. then you're a you know you're the kind of guy we need out there on the street. So thank okay. you very much. Well, enjoy the rest right. of your day. Okay. Tell your officers right. we said the same to them. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Have a good day. All right, guys. Well, that was the Sag Harbor Village Police Department in Sag Harbor, New York, uh, which is located within the town borders of Southampton, New York. Um, and that went well, that's exactly what we're hoping for. That's how it's supposed to go. Um, sure they were expecting us. Uh, AJ that I mentioned is AJ McGuire, who is the chief of the Sag Harbor Police Department. Um, actually used to be a lieutenant with the East Hampton Police Department and took the chief's position here in Sag Harbor. Uh, so I'm gonna post a uh, phone number here in the video for headquarters and I'm also going to uh, post the phone number and contact information for Chief McGuire in the description and if anyone feels so inclined please give those guys a call and let them know that uh, this is what we expect from our public servants this is what we expect from our police and um, that went about as good as you could hope for so again Coming to you from Sag Harbor, New York. Watching the Watchmen, Amagansett Press, and the newest member of the club, out.